What is up guys, Sam and I'm back doing a quick review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Diamond Select 89 Batman. I love the logo right there at the bottom. 89 PVC Gallery Statue. So we know we've been getting some of the movie stuff from the Batman franchise, whether it's The Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, and we've also gotten Catwoman from Batman Returns. So now we got our first Michael Keaton version of Batman based off of the 89 Tim Burton film. So you can see it's gallery diorama. You come to the side, it's got the open window. It's a fairly large package, okay guys? This is what the figure is gonna look like outside of the packaging. You got a really cool base there and then there is a little bit of a read up right there on the bottom right. But that's it for the packaging. I just wanna get this guy out of the package and take a close look at this Batman gallery statue and let's see if it's a pickup or a pass. All right guys, so here, we, here it is guys. We have Batman outside of the packaging. Now, first of all, I want to get into the head sculpt on here. I am not happy with how that head sculpt looks. The face paint on him looks kind of like a brownish, tannish, really tan color, and it looks like he's got lipstick on. Look at the lips. He's got like purple or violet lipstick on. I mean, the eyes look good. The cowl itself looks great. The logo, the Batman emblem right here on the outfit is movie accurate, but it's just the the, the face here, the skin tone and the lips just look really off. But overall, I mean, the cowl looks good. The cowl looks really, really good. I love the, the, the uh, sculpting right here on the side. There's nothing wrong with the outfit or any of the other paint applications. Like the, it, it looks screen accurate. You can see the gloves, the texturing that they use on the outfit itself. And then the cape looks very, very nice. The utility belt also looks really good. Again, the sculpting on it is, is is fantastic. They did a great job. Come to the lower legs here, and then you have the boots, the Nikes that he sports. The boots look really good, sculpted very nicely. See, I'll try to get close-ups right there on the shoes as best I can. And then you have the back of the cape. Again, the paint apps they use, the sculpting that they use, like the whole texturing and everything. This just looks awesome. Then you have his gauntlets here, and in the gloves, they look really, really good. And then you have the awesome base. So you got this kind of like circular base. It looks like it's like a, almost looks like a, not a, not the Grim Reaper, but it's a guy who has like a, like a cloak on or robe on. And then you can see he's made out of, he's supposed to be sculpted, like made out of like stone. You can see the texturing on him, the sculpting that they did for this character. You can see the head sculpt right there. It's almost like getting two figures in one. Do love the base a lot. Again, just very nicely detailed. And you have this kind of like smoke effect. And the color, you can't really see the color, but in person, it's, it does not look like what the camera is showing on the viewfinder. It's a translucent color, and it's got like kind of like a, I don't know, almost like brown in it. It looks really nice, though. The smoke effect on, on the bottom looks cool. And you have the base right here, right? It's like a black base. There is the bottom. And then you have this gold trim around there. And then you have the Batman emblem at the bottom. So the base itself looks fantastic that what you know what batman is standing on look at this this whole thing right here is just very very nice and the character holding on is very nice too the paint apps on on everything on everything whether it's this character down here whether it's batman you know the cape the outfit itself just looks awesome it's just that head sculpt right there it just does not look good it really 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 does throw the figure off. It throws the figure off a whole lot. It, and they kind of over exaggerated it on the lips. I mean, you know, Michael Keaton does have like kind of like big lips, but they kind of, they kind of did a little bit too much on him here. I, that's the only thing I dislike about it. But overall, it's not bad. For the price tag, you're going to pay about 45 to $50 for this base or for this figure. And it's, it's well worth it. It's well, well worth it because it is beautiful. It is overall just beautiful. Let me go ahead and do some size comparisons with the other PVC gallery statues I have in hand. All right, so here are some other Diamond Select PVC gallery statues that I have next to Batman. And you can obviously see the size difference because this guy is way, way taller than the other PVC gallery statues as shown here. And there you have it guys, there is my review. Today we are taking a look at the brand new Diamond Select PVC Gallery Statue 89 Batman based off of the Tim Burton's Batman. Again, it's a fantastic figure overall. The sculpting, the base, everything about it is nice. It's just the face sculpt right here, the skin texture. I mean, even if they left the whole lips and everything the way it was, 
It's just, they just needed to do something about the paint apps on here, and especially those lips, man. Those lips, that, it looks like he's wearing lipstick. It really does look like he's wearing lipstick, and it kind of takes away the look overall of the figure. But overall, I mean, if you're a Batman fan, you're still going to want this in your collection. It's still an awesome piece. It's a great display piece. And if you can, if you guys are good at customizing, then I mean, I'm pretty sure you can fix this fairly easy. But let me know in the comments below, is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Would you still pick it up even though it looks like this? Let me know your thoughts overall on this figure. Thumbs up the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see you guys soon. Later. Don't believe.